So would you like to get started with your designing of making the switch for more customization options, flexibility, or any other reason? Let's see how we can convert a Wix website into an actual WordPress account. So let's first of all make sure how we can do this in a very easy way. The very fast thing and you need to take that in mind is to have an actual full conventional store or website created into Wix. So let's focus here into Wix.com and sign into our account. Once we are into our dashboard, let's focus directly here into my site. Here into my site, what I'm going to be doing here is to choose the site I wanted to get started with. Once you choose the site you wanted to get started with, let's open a new tab to sign into my WordPress account. If you don't have an actual account into WordPress, I'm going to leave the link down below in the description to get started to really for free. Once you are into the dashboard of WordPress, what I wanted to do, of course, is to set up the WordPress hosting. So you'll need to set up a hosting for your WordPress website. So choose a reliable hosting provider that meets your needs and install the WordPress on your hosting account. Many hosting providers offer easily one-click WordPress installation. So I'm currently using Pantheon, but you can use whatever you want to. Once you chose the actual hosting, you can try to install the WordPress theme. So once the WordPress is installed it, you can time to choose the theme for your website. You can select a free theme from the WordPress directory or purchase a premium theme for more customization option. There's two solutions where we can make the actual solution of the export from one website into another one. Solution number one is to go directly into Wix.com. Here, let's focus into applications and go for the app market. Directly here into the app market, what I wanted to do is to look out for an application that helped help me with the actual migration of my account. So if I type the word WordPress, you can see that we have the Wix blocked. So we can grow our traffic and send stuff people here into WordPress. But what I want to be doing here is to import and request my site created outside of Wix. So this one should be sending me to an actual article from Wix. Now that I have added the application from Wix, let's add another plugin directly here into WordPress. Let's go directly here into plugins and focus into the lip hod that says plugins. Here into plugins, I choose add new plugin. Now here what you can do is to look out for a plugin that can help you to make the migration of one store into another one. So let's say for example that I only type the word Wix to see what other resources that can help me to import all my files. So as you can see, we have the easy digital downloads. We have the import XML to as a feeds. We have the chat widget, the tax box, and pop-ups. To make an easier solution, I wanted to make sure that I have an actual hosting. Into the hosting, what you can do is to add a new site, and usually the hosting can help you to migrate the services of the actual store that you currently have, so you can migrate all of them now. So you can choose with this like a premium business plan, cloud startup, or ever chosen. So once you make the payment of the actual hosting that you're choosing, the actual process will be done in no time. So that's the very easy way of how you can make the sending of one store into another one. The next solution that I can give you is to export all the information about your store so you can import it as an actual file. So this plugin, like adding the XML file, should be helping me to add Bing directly into WordPress. So you're going to copy and paste my URL data. You can upload your XML file just in case the URL does not work. And after that, all the information should be added inside of pages. If you go into all the pages, you should see that all the pages should be added automatically. And make sure that everything appears as published and of course you can edit the actual element that was, let's say, imported from the store that you checked out here into Wix, now inside the actual WordPress. Of course, there are a few elements that need to be changed, for example, the fonts, the themes, and all of that. But what we are actually looking for only is the custom information that was sent from Wix directly inside the actual WordPress. And lastly, testing and launching. So before launching your WordPress website, it's essential to thoroughly test it and show everything is working correctly. So ensure check for broken links, formatting issues, and other errors. So once you're satisfied, you can launch your new WordPress site and you're actually good to go. And there you have it, guys. You have successfully converted your Wix website to your actual WordPress. If you want an easy and fastest way, what I can show you to is to look out for a hosting WordPress website. That can help you to get started with the actual hosting or WordPress because the migration of one store into another one usually is for free if you have an actual hosting into WordPress. 
So with that being said, you can now reach the very end of the video. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools you haven't wanted to get started here inside the actual WordPress site. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.